Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are diving into Comcare and learning how to bulk upload mobile workers at once. Mobile workers are often data collectors or other field staff who are using the application on either a mobile device like a phone or tablet or the Comcare web application. Workers can access the main application using their credentials, which consists of a username and a password. Their primary function is to collect data, although they may also have access to certain reports upon obtaining relevant permissions. Now let's learn how to bulk upload mobile workers for an application. And for that, let's go to the right place. Go to your Comcare HQ account and navigate to the Users section. Click Users and you will see Mobile Workers as the very first option. Click Mobile Workers. There are two ways in which you can create mobile workers. Number one, by manually creating each mobile worker. And number two, by using Bulk Upload to create multiple mobile workers at once. In this video, we will learn how to bulk upload mobile workers at once. To use this feature, we will have to first download the template file that contains all the necessary fields for creating your mobile workers. And the steps to do this are, click Download Mobile Workers button to download the current mobile workers Excel file. Filter and Download Mobile Workers page will appear. Here, you can filter and download mobile workers by role, name or username, location, activated or deactivated status, and columns. Click download to download the user.xls file and you can see how many users and how many groups you are downloading. So as you can see over here, right now we have five users in this project space. So we'll click on the download button. Download users link will appear. Now click on the download users and either use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheet to open this file. Let's save this file. And save it. And let's open this file. This file contains all of your current user data. The first tab called Users contains a row for each mobile worker with its data, while the second tab called the Groups contains a row for each group with its ID, name, case sharing status, and reporting status. In our case, the Groups tab is empty because we have not enabled any case sharing group. Now let's go to the Users tab and see how each of these rows have data about the mobile workers. Number one, it has some basic columns like username, password, name, email, language, role, user ID, and is active. And number two, it has a few read-only columns like user IMIs, registered on date, last submission date, and last sync information. And number three, it also has some columns like user profile, location, which are custom user data fields that get configured when application uses organization structure. Now let's use this downloaded file as a template and start populating it with some necessary mobile workers data that we want to bulk upload. And I'm going to create two mobile workers that I want to bulk upload. Number one, a mobile worker called Arun Pat, and number two, a mobile worker called ManyTip. For both these mobile workers, we will populate the data for basic columns. Some key things to remember as we fill out the data and create new mobile workers are, number one, the username, which is required and must be unique for each mobile worker. Plus, no spaces are allowed while creating usernames. So our username for Arun Pat can be Arun, underscore pat and for many tip the username can be many underscore tip password password is required for new users only so let's put a strong password 
for Arun, let's put Arun at the rate 123. And for many, let's put the password as many at the rate 987. Name. Let's put the name. First name and last name combined together with the space will go under name. So let's put Arun Pat in the name and many tip in the name. Email. If you know the email, you can put email, else leave it blank and add later. Language. If your application uses multiple languages, then you can specify the language for each worker here. For specifying language, use the Comcare language codes. For example, EN for English and HN for Hindi. The role. The role for each mobile worker is always mobile worker default. Either you can keep it blank or copy paste the same to others. So we can copy paste it for these two mobile workers also. The column user ID has a unique identifier assigned to each user within the system. We have to leave it blank and Comcare will automatically assign the user ID to mobile workers. Is active column. Is active column is to let Comcare know if the mobile worker is active or not. If the worker is deactivated, then the column says false, else it's true. So as we can see, we have five active mobile workers and therefore their is active status is as true. We can either copy the true status or we can leave it blank. The default state is that the mobile worker is an active mobile worker, which means that it's active Regarding the other fields that are read-only columns, you can look at the information which is there for the existing mobile workers. Once you have completed the template, give it a name like upload mobile workers file and save it. So let's go to the file option, go to the save. So over here, we are going to call it as upload mobile workers data and save it. Now we can close the window and head back to the bulk upload section in Comcare HQ. Go back to your mobile workers and click on the option called bulk upload button. Click on the choose file under upload your updated file. Select your saved file and click open. So let's choose upload mobile workers data and click open. The file name will appear next to choose file. Now click upload mobile workers. Click on return to manage mobile workers and you will see the new mobile workers in the list. So as you can see, this is the list of the all the mobile workers. If you want to search for mobile workers, you can also type the name or username of mobile workers and the details will be displayed. So in the search bar, Let's type many. The mobile worker with the name ManyTip has appeared and we can see the first name and last name that we added along with the date of their registration, which is today and that they are an active mobile workers. So this is how by using this feature called bulk upload mobile workers, you can efficiently create and manage multiple mobile workers in Comcare. This saves your time and ensures consistency in your user setup. Keep in mind, the bulk upload mobile workers feature is only available to Comcare users with the standard plan or above. For more information about bulk uploading mobile workers at once, please visit the Comcare help site. Thank you for watching this video.